Okay, anyways, so this time we're going to do our uh, just some of our favorite WrestleMania moments. Just things. It doesn't even have to be matches. It could just be promos whatever. or whatever. Just anything that's happened. Um, there are too many promos to speak about at WrestleMania. That's though. true. Yeah, well, there, I mean, there's... They yeah. build all that shit up beforehand. Yeah, but there's like... I mean, like uh, like segments. You there could you have like somebody come out, like Pete Rose coming out and getting Tombstone every year, which is hilarious. It was fun. It was, fun. It was so good. And, and they only did it a couple times. They didn't overdo it. Um... I you want to start? Sure. Yeah. Okay. Let's do it. What's I mean, Dale's? I, I kind of gave one it of away. Dale's. Yeah, but you you have more than one, or is this? Your... I do. I, have okay. more than one. I hope so. There's 32 years oh, yeah. to go by. Yeah. Uh, and <laughs> my my favorite all time moment in WrestleMania was WrestleMania 18, the entirety of the Brock and the Hulk Hogan match. Yeah, it was it, one of the was greatest. Because awesome. I I've been saying this all day. You both have heard me repeat myself over and over again, but. People who do elbow drops, leg drops, and fist drops as their finishing maneuver, by default, suck as a wrestler. Yeah. You can't figure out something better than that. You suck. It, de it depends. Like The only thing that I was... The only person I could say might be different. Just an elbow drop, it's not off the top rope. Because off the top rope, it's Randy Savage's yeah, finisher. Yeah, absolutely. And he yeah. was one of the best. He was way ahead of his time. But he didn't just walk up and do... Right. And then pin them. Like The Rock. Uh, like, yeah, that doesn't add anything to the damage you're doing to a person's sternum by throwing your elbow pad in the crowd. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, yeah. It's, it's like, why it, is this taking so long? That guy should be getting up by now. It's like the war. You know? Yeah, like, and the only reason they should lay there, there is if, I mean, if he hits the rock bottom into it, because he usually did like the spine, the spine buster. buster yeah. But if he hit the rock bottom, it, it would sense. make sense because that's his finisher, and they should not move from that. They should no, have the to rock sit bottom is a setup for his finisher. No, but I'm saying he would usually just do the spine buster for the elbow. Yeah. If he did the rock bottom. And that's, that's yeah, you're right. Yeah, 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 yeah. But if you did the rock bottom and they laid there, okay, that's his that's finisher, fine, and the yeah. elbow is just kind of a little flare. Yeah. It's for the crowd, so it's it makes crowd. sense that they yeah. don't move. The people's chance. Put a spine buster from the rock. It's not. I mean, the rock's a bigger dude, but it's not like it's not like Batista. Yeah, or like Ryback. Right Anderson. Yeah, Braun Strowman giving you one. You're like, okay, yeah, well, of course, I'm but, dead. But yeah, so your moment. I, I, I just time. you know just figuring out. Yeah, I, I couldn't figure out who to cheer for. Yeah. You know, I I, I love the rock's personality. I didn't care for him as a wrestler. Love Hulk Hogan's wrestling personality. Didn't care for him as a wrestler. He was never the best. Who the fuck do I cheer for? And the crowd just had like the same crowd cheer for you. Yeah, yeah they, they cheered for both of them. Yeah, but then they same really went for Hogan. Hogan. Yeah. They actually, because Hogan, from what I heard, like, the like Hogan goosebumps. Because oh, Hogan, yeah. Hogan, <laughs> Hogan was the heel in that match. Yeah, and, from, and from what I heard, and this is, I don't know if it's true or not, they actually had to Rewind. Pretty much scrapped the match yeah. when they got into the ring because they didn't expect the crowd reaction. I'm like, <laughs> so Hulk Hogan, Hogan right. at WrestleMania, you idiots! What do you think? <laughs> to and me, that's Hollywood. that's probably like the. <laughs> yeah. Man, it was weird. Yeah, right. And it's Hogan, the real We're American. Not about anybody. Yeah, but the real American. Hogan zips it up here. We'll give him a good home. Wow. Wow. That's the, Canada. The real, <laughs> the real American is still the biggest wrestler in Canada. Well, um, that's still America. It's not the United States of America. That's still America. Well, he's not the... Okay, but he didn't wave around the, the flag of North America. America. <laughs> it was the United <laughs> States flag. True. It's yeah. just we're so full of ourselves. We're America. Yeah. We love... Oh, God, we yeah. are America, and then the rest of us, I guess, is North America. Yeah. yeah. Um, but I think that's probably one of the top three, if not... The best WrestleMania match of all time. Oh, yeah. yeah, absolutely. It's so. I mean, just the crowd should have been the main event, right? It was. But, a, it was something. But that, Triple H has to be the best. So yeah. Well, Triple H aside, it was, it was like it was a dream match that you never really anticipated because exactly. WCW, WWF, The Rock's been gone. All Hogan's been gone. They come in and out, in and out. When are there? When is there ever going to be a time where these two could wrestle each other? If ever. If ever. And yeah. when it finally happened, it was. Fucking amazing! All the hype, all the buildup, did not disappoint. Yeah, you yeah. know, it was not a letdown. The only thing I think that could have made it better is if it was Stone Cold instead of The Rock, because they're the two biggest draws yeah. in history. Like, if you go back and watch old Stone Cold videos, you hear even the WrestleMania when when Shawn Michaels oh, came year, out yeah. last year. When Shawn Michaels came out, the crowd blew up. Mick Foley came, came out, the yeah. crowd blew up. When that Stone glass Cold. broke. In I, Texas, those people. Yeah, I don't know, Sean Michaels from Texas too. Yeah, but yeah. when that so, glass that broke, like, look, his me goosebumps. <laughs> when that glass broke, that crowd. I just watched it like it. two days ago. I just watched it again. They the whole WrestleMania. No, they did That's like, like a, nine hours. <laughs> true, you're gonna be there live, motherfucker. So it's gonna be like twelve <laughs> hours for you. You're going to a ten o'clock thing in the morning and then WrestleMania. Yeah, what's wrong with <laughs> But yeah, that. Listen to a Stone Cold reaction. I think that's the only. That's probably my dream match that you'll never get. 
So oh, that's God, my so top I, one yeah. that you'll never get. And um, what about you for WrestleMania? Uh, Man, fucking good though. Probably the most recent one was the story of Daniel Bryan throughout all of WrestleMania 30. Oh my God. I'm unfamiliar. Uh, but uh, it started basically I like. Thanks. So Daniel like, Bryan fighting Triple H. Yeah, it started like. The story trying to kick off like 18 months ago after me in 20. The summer summer after that. Yeah. You know. With the fucking bro kick. The right? bro kick. He, Sheamus beat Daniel Bryan at me in 28 in 18 seconds. Daniel Bryan wow. was the world champion. He was the heel coming into it as well. That's worse than, than fucking Goldberg. KO. I cannot. Kevin Owens. Kevin Owens and then Goldberg. Yeah. It's worse than that. Yeah, this is WrestleMania. Yeah. I'd be pissed. It was like the opener too, it was wasn't the it? First match. No, well, then I wouldn't be Sheamus that won the Royal Rumble. Right, and it, oh, so, it was the opening match that they didn't care about either. Yeah, yeah, but uh, no, I've been pissed because everybody loved Daniel Bryan. So after that and you match, squashed him in eighteen seconds. The crowd turned on Sheamus. Sheamus was the babyface, and started just cheering for Daniel Bryan. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> we started the yes movement. WWE was like, no, 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 <laughs> no, so never, Daniel no. Bryan, they put Daniel Bryan Give into it. a tag team with Kane. Yep, team Daniel, hell no. Team hell no. Sweet. <laughs> Daniel Bryan and Kane became. Hugely over. They went to the group. They Anybody went to, who tag teams with Kane is. Yeah, but I think I think it actually really helped Kane's career. Yeah. That they they, they went Daniel Bryan was most classes. What? It was great. That's yeah, they great. would do. You should see some of the skits when they would. With Doctor Shelby. Yeah, or like their actor show stuff. Oh, when man, him, it's them so two good. and John. I just started watching some of that shit. Well, that's it's like cool. Them shit. and John Cena, and they're singing uh, that "Take Me Home Country Road," and they're like, they keep getting Daniel Bryan, and Kane even sings. They keep getting Daniel Bryan, and he's like. No! And the crowd goes, <laughs> yes! So and then he goes, no! And he won't sing the song. And it's so... They they connected really well. Yeah, it was, it was great. Like, Kane, X-Pac, Kane, RVD, Kane on the Hurricane. Great tag team. He's, a, he's, he's a little man. Hurricane? Yeah. So they defended their tag team. Sure 29. Whatever. And then they kind of had a, a blow-off breakup, like most tag teams do. And then around this time, John Cena was the world champion winning at WrestleMania 29. Okay. Kane picked Daniel Bryan. To be his opponent at SummerSlam. He wanted Daniel Bryan. He wanted to face the best wrestler in the company. Daniel Bryan. So Daniel Bryan and John Cena had a match. Great match. Fantastic. 20 minutes, whatever. Daniel Bryan won clean. Beat John Cena for WWE Championship. Two minutes after that, Ray York came out with money in the bank. Ah, right. He's cashing in. Didn't cash in. The special referee we had for the Daniel Bryan match, but I forget the mail mention. It's Triple H. Oh, yeah. Triple H being to make a the piece of shit. Fair. Triple H turned, pedigree Daniel Bryan, and York came down, cash money in the bank, won the championship with Daniel Bryan. Screwing Daniel Bryan and the fan out of a good moment. It's Triple H is a piece of shit. Right. From SummerSlam 2013 to about Royal Rumble 2014. <laughs> yeah. They wow. kept screwing Daniel Bryan out of championship matches. He'd win it or have to vacate the next day. Okay. He'd win it and be a referee fast count. Didn't happen. They, they had one match. It was, it was Daniel Bryan versus Randy Orton in a Hell in a Cell match. Shawn Michaels was a special ref. Because Shawn Michaels mentored Daniel Bryan growing up. Yep. You know. Uh, Triple H got involved. Daniel Bryan attacked Triple H. Shawn Michaels saw that. Super kicked Daniel Bryan because he attacked his best friend. Randy Orton wins the game. Dude, imagine being in the crowd for all imagine this. Imagine being the fans for this. We are every living. <laughs> week after pissed. week, you can tell though he's trolling you. Yeah, we're pissed. They know what they were doing. So too. <laughs> around December, January, they announced that Batista's coming back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Guardian of the Galaxy. Guardian of the Galaxy. He's, he's, he's just as generic as Randy Orton in my right. opinion. Oh, so he comes out. Guess what? <laughs> he announces he's going to be in the Royal Rumble. Daniel yeah, Bryan says, "I want to be in the Royal Rumble." But around that time, the Wyatt family gets a hold of Bray Wyatt, or gets a hold of Daniel Bryan. They have a feud. So the opening match of the Royal Rumble, Bray Wyatt and Daniel Bryan. Great match. Yeah. Loved it. Uh, end of the match, Daniel Bryan went to do a suicide dive out of the ring. Bray Wyatt caught him midair, did his sister Abigail against the apron, and pinned him. That's his come yeah, down. Yeah, that little spin. Spin. yeah, yeah, he does a spin, right? Yeah. Kind of like Plus, yeah. Hardy's. Dumb thing or whatever. Yeah, yeah. yeah but it's much prettier. It's and it looks yeah. way. It looks, it looks like it hurt. Yeah. The one you saw was kind of ugly. Well, yeah. yeah, but he yeah, when he does it when he because he grabs them and like he usually like kiss their yeah right. grab them right. like this and I'm bent over his knee and you're like kiss their forehead yeah and then when he he does the twist so violently you're just like yeah, you really it, it yeah. looks like it hurt it looks like it hurts him too because how much he twists his body yeah 
So the Royal Rumble event continues, and the Royal match happens, and we're all waiting. This takes place in Chicago, Philadelphia, some really smarky city. It's usually Chicago. I think Chicago. it might have been Chicago. We're Chicago. And uh, we're waiting for Dana Bryan to come back because we want our boy to win the Rumble. Mm -hmm. you know, what number is he? We're waiting. One, two, no. We get to the end of the match. 27 comes out. Batista comes out. We're like, all right, yeah. Fuck. Batista. And level four, Daniel Bryan. Right. So we're like, all right, 28 comes out. Or Daniel Bryan. Daniel Bryan. 28 comes out. No Daniel Bryan. We have one shot left. Daniel Bryan better be number 30. We're waiting. Countdown. The crowd is, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> so cool. Number 30 hits. Rey Mysterio, Rey Mysterio comes, comes out. out. The Ultimate only Mysterio. time Rey Mysterio's ever been booed by no those Rey people Mysterio. turned on him in the entire match. <laughs> Batista ends up winning the Rumble. Eliminating, last eliminating Roman Reigns, who's getting cheered. That's how fucking fucked up the situation is. Roman Reigns got cheered. Yeah. Cheered. Yeah. yeah Batista every... won the Royal Rumble. Randy Orton was the WWE Champion. So it's going to be those two main events oh, in WrestleMania. God. At WrestleMania 30. Which is right. a decent match, though. Yeah. Well, oh, well, it's, oh. trust me, yeah. That's when hashtag cancel WWE started, and yeah, all these people that. started canceling their subscriptions. Yeah, I remember you telling me. Yeah, you, all these people just started getting, they're like, fuck you, you don't care about us, exactly. and now you're rubbing in our faces. And then Daniel Bryan, even left off the Rumble, was pissed off. He was like, left off Rumble? What's going on? I, no, no. I deserve better than this. We all deserve, the whole yes moment deserves better than this. Triple H is like, no, fuck you. You're not, you're not good enough. You're a B plus player. He kept saying that for weeks and for weeks. You're a Jesus B plus Christ. player. And this is when like the authority was a it's big full thing. Force. Yeah. It's him and Stephanie. B plus player. So one week, Daniel Bryan hijacked Raw. He grabbed everybody, like probably like a hundred people from the crowd, all wearing Daniel Bryan t shirts. Yeah, yeah, and they surrounded <laughs> the ring. Around the ring. Yep. Like, Triple H, we're not going anywhere until I get what I want. I want to be in the favorite. WWE Championship match at WrestleMania. Triple H is like you want in? You're in. But you have to beat me first at WrestleMania. If you can beat and me. And then wrestle another match at WrestleMania. If you can beat me at WrestleMania, oh, you'll shit. be inserted in the main event. In a triple threat in match triple against threat Batista match. and Randy Orton. Former Evolution. Right. Yeah. You know. All Evolution. Yeah. Except the only one that's not in is Flair. Right. Flair. Right. Yeah. So <laughs> WrestleMania comes around. The opening match is Triple H versus Daniel Bryan. Great match. Triple it's H. incredible. Bro, it's great. Triple H targets the shoulder, tries to put him in the cross face, makes him tap at Chris Benoit's move, which is also Daniel Bryan's move. Okay. You know, taps, tries to grab him. Yeah, Daniel Bryan's shoulder. got the shoulder wrap the whole and he's time. And he's destroying against the steel post, grabbing it, doing whatever he can. He can't put that in Daniel Bryan. The yes move is too strong in New Orleans. He can't. <laughs> cool. You know, Daniel Bryan finally kicks him, kicks him, kicks him, gets him head. Does a fucking. Was gets it a some head. <laughs> gets him head. Hell yeah! But Triple H's nose is too big, so he can't get it yeah. all the way down. And then you're like, oh, <laughs> still came out. Yeah. He said the thing. And then Daniel Bryan did what? <laughs> That's not what happened, folks. He did what? The moonsault off the, the top rope outside the ring? Oh, yeah. No, it was like a plancha. It was a plancha but, like, off he, the top rope outside the and ring. And he pretty much misses. Triple H tries to catch him, and, and he just hits the guardrail. You're like, oh, this is your first match, bub. Yeah, so they wrestle, and all of a sudden, he rolls Triple H in the ring. Daniel Bryan, yes. He's signal for his new finishing was the running knee. Okay. Yes. The crowd's Shining always, wizard. Pretty much. Yep. Triple H gets up. He hits the running knee. He beats Triple H. It was incredible. Because, like, the sequence at the end was so fast. And when he hits that knee, the crowd just went erupted. fucking nuts. Right. So he wins. He's like, we're like, yes. Our boy Dan O'Brien, finally the main event. But he's taking on two of Triple H's goons. Right. One of which is Batista. Yeah. As soon as Dan O'Brien's match ends, Triple H gets up. Attacks for Daniel Bryan even some more. He beats the shit beats out of him. Beats him with a steel chair, throws him into a ring post. Daniel Bryan's hurt. Mm -hmm. But he's still got to compete again. Going against two people. Right. So the event <laughs> continues, and it's, it's a great WrestleMania. That's where streak ended. Uh, yep. Same night. Yeah. It's yeah. 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 the only way they saved that WrestleMania. Yeah. Is that main event. So the triple threat happens. Randy Orton comes out. Batista comes out. Daniel Bryan comes out. He's still all banded up. He's hurting. I think I would have liked him if I ever got to see him. He was great. Dan Bryan? Yeah. yeah. He was awesome. He's he was, fantastic. He was the everyday. He was great. He was like, if Mick Foley and Chris Benoit had a kid. They'd probably murder him. <laughs> I probably would want to. Well, one probably. of them would. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Mick Foley would. Mick Foley yeah. would love him. But anyway. Anyway. Yeah. The match happens. It's, to me, it's it's on par with that triple threat from Russell Mania 20 that we can't talk about. Because they pretty much recreated the whole recreated. ending. They did, they did a Batista bomb RKO through the announce table. 
to what? Daniel Bryan. It was great. Dude, you I would seen love it. to see that. When Randy Orton fell, he fell on the monitor. And yeah. He got up, was like, you can see. Shit. Yeah. It's like when Roman Reigns got choke slammed. Yeah. Into the table. And he just hit the table. Yeah. You know, you're supposed to pull monitors out of that table. <laughs> but they keep going. And it wrestles like another 20 minutes after that. And all of a sudden, uh, Randy Orton gets knocked out with a high knee. Batista spear goes to spear Daniel Bryan. Daniel Bryan has countered it to the yes lock, the cross fades. And then the whole crowd's like, yes, yes, like 80,000, yes, yes. Batista finally taps out. Our man finally wins the big one yep. after 18 months of just. It's one of the loudest fuckery. pops I've ever heard in my life. It was. Cool. That and then, like, a and month then he later. loses it the next day. No, like a month later, <laughs> he had to vacate because he got injured. Right? Yep. Broke his neck. And that's why he's not wrestling anymore. Well, then he came back, right. to WrestleMania 31, around uh, the Royal Rumble before that. He entered the Royal Rumble. Got uh, they literally you know. Back to trolling. Right. Uh, all the fans, the rumors had that they were going to put him in a match with the WWE champion, Brock Lesnar. I was like, no. Who's the guy who just broke his neck in the room with Brock Lesnar? Yeah. No. Because Brock Lesnar is a real-life dick. So then they put him in the next smartest thing, a seven-man ladder match. Even more. You know, which Daniel Bryan won for the Continental title. Then he had to vacate it because he got injured again. Bad right. against the neck. And then he retired. Bad against his neck now. Yeah. <laughs> but the whole WrestleMania 30, the whole the whole story leading up to it, it was long and long fulfilling. And worth it. You it got cool. your WrestleMania moment. You got <laughs> yeah. to see and then the, the video pack beforehand, and you're like, when he, yeah, because you don't think, because you're kind of like, man, maybe he will beat him. Will maybe, he beat him? Maybe will he, he beat him? But WWE likes to fuck with us, so yeah, they're going to put him in that match. Maybe he's your place. You're like, he's going to win it. Will he win? So <laughs> in one night, he beat three fourths of Evolution. Yeah, right. It was the only person he didn't beat that night was Flair. Yeah. It was probably the best opening match of all time at WrestleMania, rivaling Bret Hart Owen Hart. Oh my God! One of ten, right? That was yeah, 10. yeah. And one of the best WrestleMania main events and one of the best moments. Okay, it was. It was great. Yep. Um, that was a guy. Yeah. Okay. I like that. I'm yeah. gonna have to research that. It's it was incredible. Because um, I've shown you that match. I showed you the Daniel Bryan Triple H. I don't think we watched the Triple Threat after that, but you, oh, just watch the both watch guys. the show. Just just watch that match again. To watch, get, the, watch the whole WrestleMania. It's good. It's really it's good. Except, me, except for the streak match. Yeah, I'll send either. you the thing for my for my yeah. network. I mean, the streak match is because I don't think it's concussion halfway through, but <laughs> and then that's the infamous picture of that the black guy with the buggy eyes. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, yep, yeah. in the one dude. I was the same way. I was like, oh. <laughs> yeah. Um, that's, then, that's probably my favorite WrestleMania moment. The wow. whole story of Daniel Bryan. Um, oh. Okay, my favorite WrestleMania moment will be WrestleMania 24. The one that, the last time they were in Orlando. Yeah, I was there. The one you were there for, yeah. yeah I was there. Uh, oh, WrestleMania. You saw Rick last match. I did. Oh. And uh, it's Shawn Michaels? Yep. Yeah. Wow. yeah. Sweet. So there's a few, there's yeah. few of my favorite moments of all time were in that pay per view. That was the Floyd Mayweather and Big Show fight, which was match, awesome. Yeah. What's Shaq's problem? We'll see. Yeah, yeah, he just wants more money. What a bitch. Floyd Mayweather is as big as my dog. He and fought the big, big show. show. It'd be we like me fighting this dog right now. Yeah. And, um, but I got to see uh, my favorite wrestler of all time, Undertaker. He fought Edge in the main for the world title in the main event. I got to see the Undertaker's entrance at yeah. WrestleMania, which alone could just be the best moment. Even if Undertaker died at the ring, I'd be like, I saw him come out. <laughs> I saw him die. I saw him die. <laughs> That's a story to tell in itself. Yeah. yeah. Um, but I, got, I was there for Hulk Hogan's heel turn, but I was also there right. for the Undertaker. Right. And, I, and, and he yeah. buried himself. It was really yeah. really if we're shit. doing favorite moment, that's my favorite <laughs> moment. The Undertaker, under, or the Hulk Hogan heel turn is the best thing I've ever seen. Um, but I you were there. That was so awesome. I was where, like, where was that? Daytona. It was Bash of the Beach. I know it was Bash of the Beach. Yeah, no, no, it was Daytona. It, I was like, you're like 10 or 10 something. or 10 or 11, yeah. I was like 11 maybe. I had a Hulkamania sign. <laughs> I, had a Hulk, I had a Hulk sign too. Hulkamania brother, right when he came out, I was like, yeah! Did he like security tell you that he might have been there? My dad heard security talk. My dad went to the bathroom and he came back to his seats and he's like, I just heard those security guys talking. And they said, Hulk Hogan's here. What? Why would Hulk Hogan be here? No way. I was like, that's, that's weird. And the show went on and then he came out. And even still, yeah, but even still when he came out, you were just thinking, oh cool, Hulk Hogan's going to come and save the day. Yeah. And he didn't. And that was the first time I've ever seen fans throw garbage in the ring. Oh, first yeah. time I've ever seen a fan try to get in the ring and Kevin Nash stomped the shit out of that yeah. guy. Um, that's right. He did. And they pulled him right back out. And I was like, that's real. I'm not uh, doing these that. These people are very mad. Yeah, I'm 10. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even as big as Kevin Nash's dick at that point. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, I could have went for his knees and it have been over. Oh, yeah, yeah. Would you see my dick? <laughs> 
I could have just looked at him and it's quad would have tore. Yeah. But um, <laughs> I got to see Undertaker defeat uh, Edge, which I'm not match. a really big Edge fan, but it was a fantastic Edge match. Is he one of? Edge is my top. Is he really? Yeah. 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 Edge used to be one of the Undertaker's cronies in the fucking uh, in the Brood. Ministry. In the Brood. Yeah. 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 Ministry. And then Edge becomes uh, the world champion, and then uh, Undertaker defeats nine him nine in the main champion, event. By the way. Yeah. Edge. Yeah. yeah. Wow. That's why that shows you how much the table jumps. Um, well, he was. He was. The edge got it. He was the times. Per- not to interrupt him. He was the perfect transitional champion because his gimmick was. Right. He was the ultimate opportunist. He right. The rated first superstar. No, he was, yeah, we, yeah, he was that too. He was also the ultimate. Opportunist. Like he would strike when. He was like Mr. The, Money in the Bank. Right. Exactly. Right. Oh. Whenever, whenever his opponent was weak, he cashed. That's how he won the title. Yeah. But I mean, he only held it for like, I think the most like maybe two months. Like no, back then nobody held he the never title. Held that long. Yeah, not a lot of people really held it. There was it was like an average of like four months at that time for yeah. people to be champion. because yeah, growing up at that time, like, you look at him, you know, he's with a tag team, yeah. uh, plus the brood, plus the ministry. It's like, this dude might as well be Viscera. Yeah. You know? Yeah. It's, yeah. He's never going right. to amount to anything. He's so he's, interchangeable. Then it was around, like, 2005, so he started breaking out. Yeah. Yeah, when wrestling started to die and they had nobody to use the title to. Yeah, so they gave it to Edge. Yeah. <laughs> That's why like Chris Jericho was the first universe champion. Well, he beat The Rock and Stone Cold. The same, the same night. That's right. Yeah. And then he so they wanted to just trick everyone in dog shit. Yep. And they killed him. Yeah. Um, but anyway, so my favorite my favorite moment is uh, is watching the Undertaker defeat Edge in the title, and then the whole the celebration at the end with all the fireworks. I actually watched that fireworks shoot into the crowd. I saw. <laughs> I literally looked up to my left and I saw the cable breaking, and I'm pointing to Paul. I'm like, holy shit! Look at that thing. And I watched it literally just zip. I stopped watching Undertaker to watch this thing zip into the crowd. <laughs> like and I was, wasn't like that ghost ship movie where at the very beginning is oh, the hand dancing. Oh, just like the little girl was oh. the only one to survive because she was lower than the cable. Oh, just yeah, the cable just the decapitated everybody. Everybody. Who's taking home a severed head? Look at my. But I watched, I watched <laughs> that go in there, which is a cool, uh, that was a cool WrestleMania moment too to watch those people get hurt. Oh, of course. But it was <laughs> <laughs> Not cool for them. But um, so I'm just, I, since I got my first one and, I, and it's the same show, I'm just going to go into my second one. My second favorite WrestleMania moment, also from the same show. I got to watch Shawn Michaels retire Ric Flair. Awesome. And, and you yeah. didn't really, when you were there, you didn't get to see the I'm sorry, I love you because you were, you were in the, the crowd. crowd. Yeah. yeah, so you don't really, yeah, and I'm not looking up at the screen, I'm watching the match. Right. So, And I remember the very beginning of the match, uh, Shawn Michaels took a bump on the table, oh, yeah, yeah, and there. you can just see his back hit that table, and I was like, he's hurt. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There's no he's way done. he's not hurt. And uh, but the match, I don't really remember too much about the match because like when you're there seeing it, it's just kind of a blur. It's just so yeah, you're just seeing so much. Um, but the end was fantastic. The being in that crowd of fifty thousand people, WrestleMania in, in general. yeah, but being in that crowd of fifty thousand people and like forty thousand of them are crying, yeah. like that's an ama- it's such a powerful moment to be in a crowd. Like I'm like Paul was even tearing up. There was a girl at the end of our aisle just. Bawling her dude, eyes out. Was, all these people. Shit, dude, I cried when he had his fake heart attack in the middle of uh, the ring of games. Yeah, but all these people are, all these people, it was so emotional. But I also got to see my second favorite wrestler of all. So my top three wrestlers, I got to see, like, to me, they're some of their biggest moments yeah. ever. That's, that's so I got impressive. to see, I got to see Hulk Hogan, Turn Heel. Heel. I got to see Shawn Michaels retire, Ric Flair, and I got to see another ticker win the world title in the main event at WrestleMania. So to me, it's like those are, right? yeah, I'm like, I don't, <laughs> other than wrestling, other than that, I don't give a shit about it, you know what I mean? And those are my favorite wrestlers. Pretty good. And, yeah. and, but watching that match, it was just so fantastic. That whole show was really good. The Mayweather thing, seeing Mark Henry and the great Collie in person were another fantastic moment because we're a little far away, but even when you see them, Mark Henry's like as wide as the entrance. Oh yeah. He's, he's a big guy. And it was like a Royal Rumble they were all in or something. Yeah, the pre show, right? Yeah. Yeah. And uh and it was just incredible. I don't really remember too much of the I will other say things. WrestleMania twenty four was the first WrestleMania I ever watched. Really? Yeah. Wow. It's because I was there. That's what it was. Yeah. <laughs> well you do. What? Another mm-hmm. moment? Good wrestling. Any other moments? Oh yeah. There's plenty of them. One of my my favorite Moments and this this is going to Triple H because he's got some of the greatest entrances ever. Yeah, when he came up on the throne with the skull on his fucking face. Oh, chasing John Cena. Hmm? That's a John Cena yeah. match. Yeah. Oh my god, oh, man! The gold Over one. In. The yeah. gold one. Yeah. yeah. It's, again, I'm getting goosebumps thinking about it. That was awesome. It's just like it's just it's not even the match. It's just 
This is an entrance. Well, yeah. the entrance. That's the what. Entrance that's that's what I'm saying. Like with the Undertaker, just seeing those druids come out with the and it was and it's an outside arena uh, in the Orlando. So I mean, it's not a dome or anything like that, uh, which sucked because at first it looked like it's Florida and it's gonna rain. It looks like it's gonna rain. So you're sitting there and you're like, Fuck. didn't it for a little bit? Uh, it like sprinkled maybe. You didn't really notice it, but I was so worried because you know how Florida is. I saw all these clouds and I'm like, great. You don't like the weather wave, by It's going to yeah. flood, right? But then it's usually a downpour. It was just kind of like a little... That's good. Like, hey, we're going to trick you. And, uh, <laughs> Not tonight. <laughs> right. And then I also heard that um, TNA was trying to get a plane to do a flyover oh, yeah, with yeah. a TNA banner at WrestleMania. Yeah. So you would look up and be like, yeah, well, okay, cool, yeah. It's an ass if I were like that ignorant guy who just happened to be at WrestleMania oh, because somebody gave me an extra ticket. Like, what the hell is that? Tits and ass? Sweet! Sweet! Oh, <laughs> my favorite plane ever! <laughs> Tuesdays at 8! Yes! Yeah. <laughs> but then, uh, then Vince McMahon already pretty much paid the the airplane company to be like, not don't to do you fucking do, do it. Yeah. Don't. They said Whatever they, they offer you, we'll give you a thousand. They said they couldn't do it because of the weather. Yeah. But then, like, the blue, blue angels and stuff oh, like yeah, that, yeah. they flew over, which is cool to see the blue it's angels. Just don't do it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and they're like, oh, we can't do it. No, Mr. Man probably gave you, like, thousand dollars or three thousand or ten thousand dollars thousand so. over whatever they offer yeah, yeah. whatever, whatever they, they offer you, you i'm gonna give you double i'll it. double it yeah i'm mr <laughs> man they're tna yeah they're tna i'll let um, you suck my dick <laughs> but the entrances the entrances are just that's well, that's probably my favorite part of me being a wrestler was yeah, coming up just, with an entrance yeah you know? yeah it's like that's one of the few times where your character really shines because in the ring you know you're just Wrestling, you can implement your own character into your wrestling moves and everything, but when it comes down entrance, to it, really it's the entrance. Audience. Yeah, man, that gets you hyped and amped for that no, fucking no, match. Because, because most of being a wrestler is right. not wrestling. Yeah. That's the thing. Yep. The best, the, the best <laughs> wrestlers are not good wrestlers. What are we talking about? Rock, yeah. Hulk Hogan, Hulk Hogan, even Stone Cold Cena. was all right. Stone Cold was good in WCW when he came over. He still did wrestle a little yeah, bit, but his thing. Injury. But yeah. then he became like the five moves of doom. Yeah, and then just kind of did his shit. Right, and then he just the same thing over and, and but like you said stone cold entrance here in that glass shatter when the glass shatters and he walks through yeah, it you're just like 13 yeah you're just like holy shit and uh awesome. which is the greatest face no no uh owen hart broke his neck Okay. That was SummerSlam. Right. Yeah. Uh, no, that match was the the blood. The double uh, the, the, double bloody, the double turn. The, when, best, when the Brett, greatest match in Russ in Russ Mania history. It's it's up there. The most it's, important match I'll say. Right, because it turned it it's Stone Cold became turn. Stone Cold and Bret Hart became a heel. And it was yeah. a, a heel in America fun. only. Right, it which is incredible. Um but, what about uh, you? Yeah, one of my favorite moments, I've never seen it live. I didn't see it live because fucking I wasn't born. But see you know, like like <laughs> So back He's talking about a, an event in 2001. <laughs> <laughs> Troy's, we're hanging out with a 15 year old. But seeing it back, a, yeah. <laughs> seeing it back on the network, we're seeing like um, like highlight reels of it. It was WrestleMania Seven. It was uh, Randy Savage versus Ultimate Warrior in a career match. Yeah, Randy lost had to retire. Right. Randy Savage lost after like fucking four Ultimate Warrior splashes and grill press. It was crazy. <laughs> right. But um, the match itself was fine. It's what happened afterwards. Yeah. It's one of the best, my favorite moments ever. It was, uh, he was doing the, the macho kick thing with uh, Queen Sherry. Yeah. And after he lost the match, Queen Sherry turned on him and started kicking the crap out of him. Because this is after he got rid of, yeah, he got rid of, he remember because they like broke up. Right. Yeah. yeah. So it shows Miss Elizabeth in the crowd and she's, she's all sad. She's still yeah, It's giving me goosebumps you're talking about. Yeah. It's one of my <laughs> favorite moments in wrestling history. Oh, so Miss Elizabeth can't take it anymore. Mm -hmm. Pops the barricade, runs into the ring, knocks out Sherry, throws her out. Savage gets up, he's, he's like, he sees Miss Elizabeth, and you can just tell the uh, hearts in the crowd are just melting. <laughs> they just they just embrace, and it's it's fucking. Every time I see it, I get fucking. You see them kind of staring at each other, and you're like, "What are they gonna do? What are they gonna do?" And then they embrace in the middle of the ring. In it's a fucking crowd. Like they show women are crying. Yeah. People are throwing babies in the air. Yeah. Like it was great. It's funny because I actually watched I see, that. I get teared up. I actually oh watched that a few God. months ago just to see that moment again. It's still, when you I, see, I saw it like a week ago. I'm like, oh my. God. You're right. It is. It's one of the greatest moments. Even out of context, yeah. you watch like a highlight reel. You're supposed to be like. Oh. And you don't even have to be a wrestling fan to just no. appreciate that. You know what I mean? You just love right there. Right. Yeah. Just, and that's after he was a piece of shit. And he turned yeah. on her and then Sherry's beating him up. And when she comes running in, you're just like. That's and, love. Yeah, that's that's, cool. that's how you write a wrestling show. Yeah. That's, that's how it, you write love. But that's what I'm saying, though. But 
and it was just weird because Mr. McMahon probably doesn't believe in that. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> he's a devil. With grapefruits. <laughs> I don't love anybody. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's one of my favorite Russell oh, moments. You son of a bitch. That's a really good moment. Yeah. Um, one of my favorite moments has got to be another match. And 24? With Papa Shingo. No. <laughs> oh, and he fucked up? Yeah. When he missed his cue? Um, yeah. No, was... Uh, was... Uh, Razor Ramon and Shawn Michaels in the first ladder match. First oh, yeah. ladder match. Yeah. Um, the first one at WrestleMania. Right. Yeah. If you ask Bret Hart, it's definitely not the first one. No. Um, but their ladder match was absolutely incredible. It was groundbreaking. You know what yeah. I mean? It was, two, it was WrestleMania 10. It was 1994. Like, you didn't have ladder matches in 1994. How many other matches there were ladder matches until the Attitude Era actually happened? You know what I mean? And one of my favorite things, and I can't remember what wrestler asked to do this, but one of my favorite things about that match, they used one ladder. Oh, the yeah. whole match yeah. was one ladder. If you see a ladder match now, the ring's like surrounded. Three, There's also one that's like 15 feet tall yeah. for some reason. Ridiculous. And yeah, and you're like, that's not how a 15 foot tall ladder would be built. Yeah. Um, it's usually just like the straight up ones. Or it'd be not, much heavier. Yeah, it's not like the like the seesaw ones. It's yeah. like the straight. And that match was incredible. Yeah. I love the finish because the finish wasn't something that was like over the top where he hits like the razor's edge off the top oh, of no. the ladder. You would kill it's, Shawn. it's Shawn Michaels gets his leg caught in the rope. Yeah. And he's reaching, and you know, Shawn, the only way Shawn Michaels can, he's freaking out, going to grab it. The now, greatest showman ever. Right. And one of the things that a lot of people don't notice is that Shawn Michaels finally gets his leg out from the rope. And, and he goes, it's... and as he's getting his leg out, He's going to reach for Razor, and as his leg comes out, in the most fluid motion I've oh, yeah. ever seen, because a lot of people don't see it, his, his arm gets hooked in. As he's pulling yeah, yeah, as he's pulling, like he pulls yeah. his leg out of the rope, and as he's doing that, he like kind of flips and rolls, and he tucks like his arm under the top rope, and he gets stuck in the rope with his arm. He's just <laughs> he's reaching as Razor pulls both the IC titles off, because the lead up was. Shawn Michaels lost his smile because he's a bitch. But he was still the Intercontinental Champion. He was So he said when he came back, he's still the Intercontinental Champion. Well, at this time, Razor Ramon was the actual Intercontinental Champion. Yeah, but he never lost the he belt. He never lost his belt. Right. So he kept his belt. So there was two IC titles. Yeah, the ladder both belts. Both titles. titles. Awesome. Yeah, so yeah. he set up, but why? So both potentially could have won? Well, sure. it's a ladder match. Yeah. <laughs> it was 1996, they both won. But I mean, like, it's one true. They both, so. they both would have pulled the other belts other down, and they'd have been double champion. Just been through stuff. But um, <laughs> but watching him get his foot stuck in that rope, the whole match was incredible, and it wasn't like a, even for like a quote unquote like hardcore ladder match, it wasn't very hardcore. They yeah. did the, they used the ladder for wrestling. Right. It wasn't just like he picked like up weapon. the ladder and just beat him to death with it. They really only did a few things where like the ladder was the weapon, and if they did it as a weapon, it was clever. It wasn't just like he picked it up and threw it off his face, and you're yeah. like, oh, why would Never he do that? Or he razor's edged him through the ladder. If it was today, he would razor's edged him off the top of that ladder through another ladder yeah. on the outside. Yeah, exactly. And that's how it would have been. Yeah. That's what I think would happen is wrestling now. I think a lot of wrestlers Holy nowadays kill. are not going to wrestle as long as the old you know, ones because they're going to die. I think that match is great because a lot of people remember that match. A lot of people forget that Shawn Michaels lost that match. Mm-hmm. Right. To razor remote. And that's, that's a lot of people, title. people thinking you know, wins and losses is important. I'm like, not as much as you think. Especially when a guy that hasn't won that much at WrestleMania is called Mr. WrestleMania. Right, exactly. But it's like the performance. Undertaker's of, Mr. WrestleMania. Like, like Mick Foley. He's one of the most respected guys ever. Hall of Famer, blah, blah, blah. How many times does he actually win? That, yeah. that he's been the world, world champion like twice or something And it like all that? lasted for like 12 yeah, days. That, that might have been yeah. a Raw thing, but that was one of my favorite wrestling moments ever. Was With Mick Foley on the turtle, yeah. The yeah, him running around the ring. Yeah. And Everybody picking, picking him up. Yeah, man. Yeah, but how many times, like, all the, the most memorable matches, minus that one, that we remember him in, he lost. The Hell in a Cell, yeah, the street fighting against Triple H, the, the hardcore match against Randy Orton. Him fighting uh, uh, Edge in that, the hard, Edge. when Edge spears him through the flaming table. The exploding barbed wire death match that he had with Terry Funk. Terry Funk, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then he was doing those kind of over here, too, where he was doing, like, death matches. So he, he lost. He all never really won. Right. And that was fine. It didn't hurt his character or anything. No. Well, the yeah, thing is, he's a dumpy... Like, well, won't be kind of like, yeah, yeah. You know, like, like, like a lot of wrestlers, a lot of people complain, oh, he didn't win, oh, he didn't, he should have won. Like, does it matter in the long run? But what got him over in WCW when he's Cactus Jack, he would lose in tag matches, yeah, and then he would beat the shit out of his partner. And then it started to get to the point where people knew it was going to happen, they knew he was going to lose, but they waited for the match right. to over so they could. 
he can hit that elbow so he can do some... I mean, Mick Foley doesn't need any of that because he has Hell in a Cell. Exactly. He has Hell in a Cell. He, 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 he will live fa infamously yeah. because he's taken the biggest, hardest couple of bumps. Yeah. That, that, that one, the first one, though. I mean, but see the, the one where one? he gets choke slammed through the hell in the cell, and the ladder hits him in the mouth. No, it's or his not the knee. Ladder, the, it's his knee. It was a chair. chair no, fell on no, his the face. chair fell, but his knee is what comes up and pops oh, the tooth, through. Yeah, a tooth through his lip. Yeah, I thought, I thought it was a chair. No, it's the, a it's chair the comes chair down afterwards. too, but the knee, the knee. I actually just listened to his, uh, listened to an interview with him, and he said that when he took the choke slam, that when the cage was breaking, it was actually supposed to just, like, it was warp. Supposed to break, yeah. Well, it was supposed to warp, and then he was supposed to kind of, like, slide. Yeah, have a little bit of give. Yeah, it, well, it was, a, it, yeah. So it would kind of go, and then he would just kind of slide it through that. it. But it did not happen. It just, the links broke. I mean, how do you chain, chain link to do something like that? Well, you just, you, no, you split <laughs> the middle of the chain link, so when you hit the center, yeah, yeah. it's like a funnel. It just kind of opens well, just like up. the long right. later on, Triple H, Chris Jericho. Yeah. You cut it around and kind of, like, Dips. Yeah, it's yeah. so yeah, it dips and then you kind of split. So if you like exactly. cut a couple of yeah. links, Jericho you can go died. through. Oh, yeah, but that would have turned one... to the sickest pile driver ever. Yeah, but one side of the whole <laughs> thing just broke and it was like a trap yeah. door. It wasn't supposed to be a trap door. It was just supposed to, the chain link in the middle was just kind of supposed to open up and then he would slip through. Right. Yeah, the whole yeah, thing just cut the fuck out. Of him, but... Yeah, but the whole thing just went clink and he he went straight down yeah. and. Uh, Try sticking his tongue out through the hole. But yeah, <laughs> but the another one of mine too. That 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 Stone Cold match is. But oh, no, another great Hart. WrestleMania moment was the Own Heart Red Heart WrestleMania yeah, Ten. Yeah, it was the yeah. same pay per view, pay -per -view. That, that um that ladder match happened. At. Well, the Rock and Austin at WrestleMania Seventeen was pretty sweet too. The whole pay per view was good. Yeah, yeah. But that, Seventeen and like, Eighteen were probably two of the best. Seventeen like was actually really good too. Yeah. yeah. But uh, that video package beforehand, that, like I mentioned before, I think for sorry, my way by Limp Biscuit, it was fucking great. Right, and it's Limp Biscuit. Yeah, it <laughs> that's why he's one of the dumbest secret unlockable characters in any game. Ever. That's yeah, but because yeah, because he made a fucking uh, performance. Yes. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, William Shatner is the one that inducted uh, Jerry, Jerry Lawler. Lawler into the Hall of Fame. It's not so. like Jerry Lawler. Nah, right. Which is because they had one thing, and then you could tell Shatner didn't know who he was. But anyway, so the WrestleMania moments. Yeah. You got any more? No? Nah, nah. What about you? Um, I'm sure there's plenty more. Yeah, there's yeah, a, sure there there's is more. a ton. Um, what uh, about for what do you think is going to be this WrestleMania's moment? Oh, Jesus, man. What's your, what do you think is going to be the biggest moment at this show? Well, for me personally, I'll be under, see Undertaker live. You'll, you'll, you're going to be there, but what do you think has the potential to be the biggest thing? Oh, it's hard to say, but oh what do you think? Well, there's not if gonna be, Goldberg wins, that's going to be the biggest it's thing. It's not going to be no sick RKO counter. Cause, right. Well, what, what the hell could it be? Put on those batches again. Something with like Triple H, Seth Rollins, probably. It's probably gonna be a Shane McMahon diving off something big. Are all thirty people in the the Battle Royal accounted for? There's no secrets, probably. Yeah, no, so. they're all in there. They they, they so. show and they show the picture for graphic. SmackDown or whatever, and they have them. Take a seat. Shut together. your fucking mouth! You, that's not us. Don't listen to it. Don't listen. Um, um, I think Shane McMahon jumping off of something high. Hey, what? what? Do you think he could jump the, off uh, the roller coaster? Yeah, probably. he's probably going to own it the night. Those or I think uh, Triple H and Seth Rollins, they have potential to do something, but I don't know what. I think that'll be something big. The the only, to me, the potential WrestleMania moment, and it's oh, it's kind of a cheat. Roman Reigns countering the last ride into the Superman punch? No, <laughs> it's if the Hardy show up. <laughs> Uh, if the Hardy show up, yeah, I think that'll be the moment. But that's that's, that's I don't know. I don't really know what could be. A, I don't. I think it's going to be a solid card, but, and I, you won't really know until you see it. Right. But it, a lot of, a lot of I don't moments, know if they will. The best moments are kind of like unplanned. Yeah, yeah. they're like it's organic. The but I don't know. I don't know if there would be. In. Yeah. You don't think any surprises? Anything big might well, it's happen? There's definitely going to be something. Yeah, but you know, I think the you think Kurt Angle will be a part of it. Other I than hope Pete Rose comes out and beats the shit out of Kane. <laughs> that would be the greatest thing ever. He comes out with a bat and he's like, <laughs> I should have brought this to begin with. <laughs> I'm so proud of Fifteen shit. years ago. <laughs> but I think the biggest like surprise surprise would be like if the Hardy Boys show up. Yeah. I don't think anybody else like big will show up except for maybe The Rock. Yeah, but um, I mean, or uh, wrestlers who might what just about be in the area or Hulk Hogan. I can see him showing up, but where is the thing? Like a between, maybe yeah, like between a, these two matches, or just like a promo that he, you know, because it's probably going to be like this match and this match might have to have like a, like a in promo. between, just yeah. because they're going to be really good matches. But yeah. that, you know, if that's the order, they have no. to follow 
Chris Jericho, which is one of the hottest wrestlers in wrestling. Yeah. No, no, no. Goldberg's going to win. Hulk Hogan's going to come out. And then they're going to feud for the next eight years. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. And, 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 and what, Hulk Hogan's probably dead in eight years. Yeah, that's how it ends. Right now. That's how it ends. Do you think the New, <laughs> think the new Day's going to do anything significant? Do huh? so, you think the New Day's going to do anything significant? I'm not looking for... I. They're probably going to release their ice cream. Sure. You think they'll, maybe they'll do a heel turn? On who? Who? Goldberg? The tag match. It's a t- they're a tag team. So the center they do. of the entire yeah. show. Yeah. Who are they going to attack? Who are they really feuding with? Nobody, Nobody right? Yeah. They're just doing the stupid ice cream thing. Yeah. And then... I don't know. I don't, there's a lot of potential. I'm really... Um, maybe... I don't, know. S- I don't know. It's hard to pick. There's going to be a lot of moments. Yeah. But I... I uh, Which one will we be talking about Monday? Yeah. That's the thing. I think it's going to be the possible main event. Depending, either way, it's going to be good or bad. Yeah. It's, there's no, all these matches have potential to be either way, but that's the one, you know, you're like, it's super hit or miss. Yeah, exactly. What do you do? Do you like, you want to give us another short squash match? Do you drag out 10 minutes and help? Them? Especially if it's the main event. Like, exactly. Do you? Yeah, you don't want to. Um, maybe Shaq will come out and, <laughs> <laughs> and maybe eliminate Shaq the big will. show, and then the big show will be like, <laughs> come on, man. I yeah, I have no idea. yeah, I don't know. I think it's gonna be really I interesting. Be a, I, I think it'd be a great WrestleMania. It's gonna be a very good show. Okay, well we're gonna wrap it up since these are our favorite moments, and we just did our predictions. And this is man, the moments might be a separate video because it's almost forty five minutes yeah. long. Yeah. So it might just be a separate one that I'll add. But uh, for the Squared Circle Podcast, I'm Jason. I'm Troy. I'm Dale. You guys have a good day. Uh, WrestleMania. WrestleMania. <laughs> Ride the coaster. Ooh. <laughs>